Hi, this is the review of the Bosch steam oven. We have the steam oven as part of a combo unit, which includes the steam oven and a regular oven. The combo unit is part of Bosch's benchmark series. The model number is HSLP451UC. In this video, I won't get into the basics of steam cooking. You can read about the benefits on the web. Um, besides steam cooking, there are a number of other features, including steam convection, reheat to keep warm, defrost, European convection, other modes. The size of the oven is fairly decent on the inside, and it comes with multiple trays that allow you to cook different dishes. There is a cavity at the center called the evaporator dish. Water flows into here and boils and makes the steam. There is also the water tank. You fill this up, put it in until it cooks and then you're good to steam. Water will run down into the evaporator dish. All in all, it's a pretty impressive piece of hardware with lots of parts. Um, unfortunately, it has several serious issues. Maybe it's just ours, but um, these are pretty big issues. So there is excessive scale formation in the evaporator tray. When we first got the unit, they told us to turn it on and run a steam cycle for 20 minutes. Um, Within that 20 minutes, about a third of the tray was covered in scale. We used the Bosch test strips that they gave us to see if we have soft water. Um, our water was soft, and as it has always tested before, and it still happened. Um, then we decided to use filter water just to test it out, and the exact same thing happened. So I don't think it's just our water. Another issue that we are having is that the water tank does not last for the 150 minutes, that's 150 or 2.5 hours. It lasts for about 30 minutes. When we do have it running at full steam cycle, you can see steam pouring into the kitchen constantly. It never stops boiling at the evaporator dish and condensation actually appears um, at the edge of the vent where it comes out here and starts to run down the outside of the unit. Another thing we found is that we have been using the manual because we're new at steam cooking and food does not cook at the recommended times at all. It normally takes about twice as long uh, for it to actually cook. Potatoes say 20 to 25 minutes. They generally take around uh, 40 minutes um, and then it might even take longer. We've done it with broccoli, we've done a whole bunch of other things that are mentioned in there and they all seem to take about twice as long as it states. There are also problems with descaling and steam cleaning mode that um, at least when you read the manual it seems to make sense but it's kind of dangerous when you actually do it. For the descaling cycle what you do is you take your descaler and your water and you fill this you pop it in here, you run it on the descale cycle. What happens then is that uh, it will run for about 20 minutes, I believe, and will then say that you have to empty the water tray and clean the oven. The only issue is you have 30 seconds to do it, and it is just boiled water. Um, as soon as you open the door, a whole bunch of steam comes out, and you have 30 seconds to get about half a cup of water out of this evaporator tray. Um, and clean it. If you don't do that, then it's going to get into your food the next time. So here I am about to descale. I put a, as per instructions on the descale packet, put the um, descaler in here, fill the water. I'm going to put it in. Here I click. And then you start the descale cycle and press yes. So now the descale cycle has finished the first part. You have 30 seconds to clean the interior and take out the water tank. I took out the water tank and threw the sponge in there. Normally we would just close the door, but we're just showing you how warm it is. You can see steam coming off of it. It was just boiling seconds ago. So I'm cleaning the water tank out, making sure all the descale is out of there. So I'm replacing the water tank with cleaned water. I'm trying to take the sponge out, but it's too hot. I've done this before, so I have my tongs with me. And I take it out, and then we shut the door. As you can see, we have to restart the cycle. We must have gone over 30 seconds with the door open. 
And so we're going to have to start back from the beginning. As you can see, none of the buttons work at all. The only thing we have left to do is to turn it off and start it up again. So now you can see the amount of scale that's left over in the evaporator dish after descaling. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use filtered water, so it shouldn't be hard at all, and we're going to pour it in all the way to the top. And we're going to use this for a 30 minute steam cycle. So I put the tank in all the way until it clicks. Close the door. And I'm setting it for 30 minutes for a steam cycle. We'll see how much water is left in the tank afterwards. So as you can see, it says that it's generating steam, and it is. The evaporator dish is evaporating the water, and you can see steam just kind of flooding out into the kitchen. It never stops. Uh, it goes the whole time that it is on steam mode. As you can see, there is condensation forming. Um, you can see where condensation has formed and fallen before. This just continues as long as you are steaming. We're about 20 minutes in now to the steam cycle and it has not stopped generating steam or um, pouring steam out into our kitchen since. Okay, so we have about 15 seconds left and the tank is empty. It's telling me to refill it. So it's lasted about 30 minutes in total for the whole tank. It's supposed to last uh, two and a half hours. So here we are opening the door. You can see steam escaping. Turn the oven light on so you can see, and the tank is basically empty. We need to refill it. So we did a steam cycle with filtered water, and this is the after shot. Here is a before and after shot of it. The one on the right is the after shot, so you can see that it scaled a tremendous amount in 30 minutes. There is also another issue with cleaning it. Uh, there is a little lip at the bottom of the door, and water gets trapped in there. Um, sliding a paper towel in seems to work. I would be hesitant not to do this just because having standing water in something you're going to cook in just doesn't sound like a very good idea to me. So what we've found is that there is excessive scale formation even if you use filtered water. The water take empties in 30 minutes, whereas the manual states it should last 150 minutes. That's five times quicker. And the food takes about twice as long to cook. Um, the descale mode never completes the rinse cycle because the oven can only be um, opened for 30 seconds at the maximum to clean out boiling water, which is not only impossible, it's not safe. I think someone's probably going to get burned trying this. So we bought this product a month ago and we called customer support, but they really didn't seem to have any idea. They have not been trained on this steam oven and didn't quite understand what the problems we had were facing it. Um, Bosch said that they could send out a third-party technician, and they did. Um, he had really no idea about the steam oven. He admitted he'd never been trained on it, and this was the first one he'd seen, so he wasn't really much of a help to us. Since then, we've been in kind of constant contact with Bosch, um, trying to get them to send out somebody who is trained on the unit. Um, they have stated that they are hesitant to send out somebody because we live uh, very far away, as they put it. We live about 30 minutes outside of Hartford, Connecticut, which is the capital of our state, uh, in the suburbs. If you are thinking about buying this unit, we would recommend you maybe wait a bit, because it seems that not enough people over at Bosch have been trained on it. Or buy at your own risk.